Good morning, winners! Welcome to Terry's Tips. Okay, guys, today, get a notebook, get a pen, because I'm going to give you some credit score hacks. Yes, y'all! And this is for my newbies and for my vets, because what I'm finding is that you guys cannot invest. You cannot get your business credit. You cannot start your business. You cannot get your real estate financing. You can't even get vehicles in your name because you're still struggling with your personal credit scores. So in today's video, I want to give you some credit score hacks, guys. This is for my newbies and for my vets because some of these things you may know, but some of them you may not know and you're not using strategy, okay? And I'm going to drop nuggets through the entire video, y'all. Y'all know how I am, okay? And if you are new to my channel, welcome, guys. My name is Terry. I'm a self-employed entrepreneur. I'm a mother. I'm a YouTuber. I'm an investor, but more importantly, I'm a personal and business credit guru. Guys, I have over 20 years of experience and used to actually work for TransUnion. So subscribe to this channel if you're looking to leverage your personal and business credit to build wealth. I upload brand new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Guys, I'm also super active on my Instagram page and I drop nuggets and gems on my Instagram page. So make sure you also are following me at Care Credit Tools, okay? Those are the two platforms, um, Instagram and YouTube that I'm on the most. And let me just say something right here because we're going to start right away, guys. I'll do my nugget at the end. Um, you cannot save your way to wealth. Did you hear me? There is a difference between saving and between investing. Between saving and between investing. And saving money is great. It's absolutely, you should absolutely, that's something you need to do when you're kind of trying to get down payment money and trying to work on your credit. But you cannot save your way to wealth. You need to learn to multiply. That's what this channel is about, leveraging your personal and business credit. And so when you want to actually multiply and become a millionaire, multi-millionaire, billionaire, legacy, wealth building, you need to learn how to invest, okay? And this is nugget number one for you guys. Control your spending and have a budget, guys. Seriously, when we're talking about your credit score hats, a lot of times it's not a score issue, it's a spending issue. Yep, it's not a score issue, it's a spending issue. How many of you guys have a budget? Look at all of your bills, how much money you bring in every single month, and really put together a budget where you can adjust, right? Versus knowing what's coming in, what's going out, but then you guys just leave it the same. No, you need to actually adjust. What can you sacrifice? What can you change to get the extra money you need to actually work on your credit? Spending is jewelry, clothes, the movies, girls' vacations, boy guys' night out, all of those things furniture that's spending right but investing is things like online courses investing in property stocks bonds starting a brand new business webinars you no know, coaching mentoring when you are investing guys you are investing to get a better result and to get a different outcome and investing in you this is something that the ETs the Grant Cardones the Dave Ramsey's that everybody always say that investing in you is the number one thing that you can do for your life period. Hands down, drop the mic, okay? So learning the difference between spending and investing, controlling your spending and decreasing it, and learning how to invest and also budget. That's nugget number one. Now let me go into utilization, right? And you know, everybody talks about trade lines. Everybody talks about piggybacking. I'm going to talk about that, guys. But the number one way for your actual score, guys, is controlling your utilization right your revolving trade lines but i'm going to give you a tip okay so for utilization 30 percent and under is good 10 percent and under is better when you're looking to increase your score especially for my people that are at your 700s 720s 750s guys when you're looking to increase your score you want to have your credit card utilization at 10 percent and under 30% and under is good, 10% and under is better, okay? Now, this is where utilization is 30% of your score, guys. Now, some of you guys, up this, listen, pay attention here. I'm going to do this part slow so you get it, okay? So, some of you will have five credit cards. And when you're working on utilization, you'll start putting an extra 100, 200, 300 on every single card. Pause. Because some of you guys have really, really big limits. $5,000, $10,000, $15,000 cards. So that extra $500, well, that extra $50, that extra $100, that's not helping too much, guys. You want to do what we call like a snowball effect, right? And you can do this with credit card utilization. This means I want you to get your credit cards and list them in order from the highest limit, the credit limit, guys, to the lowest credit limit, okay? Look at, you see, do you have a $500 card, a $2,000 card, a $5,000 card, a $15,000 card? List them by their credit limits. 
because what you guys don't understand is that the FICO scoring model, it averages the utilization ratio. It's not looking at the actual dollar amount, guys. It's looking at the ratio. And you can actually increase your credit score and lower your utilization quicker, faster, by tackling the lowest credit limits first. Let me explain. Let's say you have two credit cards, okay? One is $5,000, one is $500, okay? Two credit cards. Let's say they are both maxed out. Hands down, your maxed out credit, um, credit cards are killing your credit scores. So let's say on the $5,000 card, you have $5,000, 100% utilization. On the $500 card, you have $500, 100% utilization. Your overall FICO utilization is at 100%. Your scores are trash, right? They're in the 500s, okay? So they're really, really low. Some of you guys will stress out, like, how am I going to get $5,000? How am I going to get $5,000? I don't have $5,000. You don't need to do that. This card is 100% utilization. This card is 100% utilization. On the $500 credit card, remember I said your lowest credit limits. Guys, pay that down to zero. Zero. Don't close it. Do not close your open, available, revolving trade lines. That's a nugget right there, guys, especially for my Dave Ramsey people. Guys, you can have them as a zero balance, but you don't need to close them because for your personal credit scores, it's the longevity and the open trade lines that build your score. So that $500 credit card, guys, pay it down to zero. Now, guys, you have one credit card that's maxed out 100% utilization. You have one credit card that's zero utilization, right? And when the FICO score averages it and updates, you will now be at 50% utilization. Just like that. But look at this. It cost you $500, not $2,500. Did you get that? Your lowest credit limits. Start tackling those aggressively first because you can impact that utilization ratio faster, quicker with less money out of pocket. That was a nugget right there, guys, okay? So get your credit cards, lowest one, lowest credit limits, tackle those, get those to zero balance, then go on to the next one. So the $500 card, make it zero. Then the $1,000 card, make it zero. Then the $2,000 card, make it zero, guys. You only need to get to 10% uh, to ten percent or under. So you may only need to do like two or three cards for your scores to actually update. All right, another nugget, guys, is you always hear people talking about buying trade lines. Now, I don't endorse, I don't buy trade lines, but you guys can piggyback, okay? So what piggybacking means is that you have a friend or family member, coworker, cousin, sister, bestie, somebody that is close to you that is not going to charge you guys, okay? And they have a positive credit card, right? Their positive credit card, a positive trade line means that it's been open for more than two years, it has zero late payments, it has under 30%, I would say under 20% utilization, right? And they are willing to add you as an authorized user, guys. Get added as an authorized user, and then that payment history, that low utilization will get added to your credit report. That will help you with your longevity, that will help you with your positive payment history, that will help you with your utilization. I recommend one to three max. Listen to me, y'all, because the creditors, they're hip to you guys. They know, they see these videos too. They see that everybody's buying and selling trade lines and it's shady. Guys, the authorized user kind of um concept was not meant to be for people to boost their credit scores and look better on paper and kind of inflate the process and kind of trick lenders. That's not what it was meant for. It was meant for family member and friends so that way if they need to access to a credit card for like emergencies. So I'm a mother. I have my son add to my credit card for like emergencies. Now you guys can be strategic, strategic with this but make sure it's a friend or family member that way you're not paying for it make sure that it meets that criteria two years no late payments and under 20 percent utilization have them add you and then wait for it to update same thing with the utilization half of this guys is doing the work the other half is waiting for it to be reflected on your file so you do the work and then you're waiting a good 30 to 60 days this is another nugget so some of you guys are doing this work and you're applying right away guys know do the work and then actually check your reports again to make sure those updates are reflected so your scores can actually recalculate you are not using credit karma you are not using credit sesame you're using my fico you're using um credit check total you're using identity iq those are some of the top ones i recommend because those are fico scoring models and for the big money somebody say big money the the lenders for business credit for real estate for investing for all those things use the fico scoring model so some of you guys are not are kind of missing the mark because you're not even using the right model and let me pause right here and say another thing guys credit 
as an adult right now in this day and age in 2021 is one of the most important things that you can pay attention to. And I'm sorry it is because it used to be that credit was just what you can buy. But guys, now they use credit for, for homes, for apartments, for jobs, for utilities, for cell phones, for business credit, for investing. So you guys need to have, it used to be that having good credit was a nice luxury. Guys, now it's a necessity. I know people that have gotten denied um, gotten like alarm systems in their houses because they got denied because of the credit. They can't get utilities in their name because of credit. So we are in a climate now in 2021 where credit impacts multiple areas of your life, even your auto insurance rates, your life insurance rates, cell phones, utilities, business credit, personal credit, investing. I can go on and on and on. And so this video, guys, play and replay, okay? So another tip for you guys is for your student loans. If you have negative student loans or negative late payments, let's say it's not even like in collections or like in default, but let's say you just have a bunch of late payments, student loans report by semester or by disbursement. So if you went to school and you had 10 disbursements, you may have 10 accounts on your credit report. Let's say you have one late payment, right? That means there's now 10 accounts on your credit report that actually have a late payment tanks your score guys you can be strategic with doing a consolidation and income driven repayment plan right and what that will do is that will make all the accounts with the late payment go to a zero balance and close then you will get one brand new account for the total amount now how does that help you guys this is where the late payments can legally be reported for seven years Yes, y'all, late payments can legally be reported for seven years. However, with the student loans, good luck on trying to get them removed. Can you sometimes? Yes, but it's going to be, it's going to take some work. You guys are investors, entrepreneurs, going after your goals, going after your dreams. Your most valuable asset is your time, not your money, okay? And so this is where you may not want to spend a whole year trying to dispute these items. But by that consolidation, make those accounts a zero balance and close. Now they're not factoring into your score as heavily because they're not late payments on open available accounts accounts. I just saved y'all 10 to 15 to 20 something points just by just by consolidating your student loans. And guys, in the description of my video, we have free student loan, free student loan consultations where you can uh, talk to someone on my team and discuss options and see if that is an option for you. All right. Another thing, guys, is your hard inquiries. OMG, guys, every hard inquiry, depending on the scoring model, and depending on what else is on your credit report can impact your score between uh, like three Look, three to seven to 10 points, depending on what else is on your report, guys. Disputing inquiries and getting them off is not a super cumbersome thing. If you have 10 inquiries, you do some disputes in writing to the credit bureaus directly, and you get three to five knocked off, that's going to help you. Guys, think about it. Three to 10 points, and you got three to five inquiries removed, guys. So any inquiries that are unfair, invalid, you didn't authorize, you don't recognize, dispute those with the credit bureaus immediately in writing. It takes a little bit longer, but you will get a better result. Guys, everything I'm telling you in this video can be done in a good 30 to 90 days max. Most of them 30 days because you have to wait for it to be updated on your credit file. So go after your hard inquiries, guys. I will link some of my hard inquiry videos. Okay, another thing is this natural disaster remark. We're in the middle. When I'm making this video, it's July 2021. I'm hot in here. I'm in my sunroom. I'm sorry, guys, right? I like the sunroom. I was working out here today. I started to do my video out here, and I was like, oh, my God, it's so hot. So anyway, so with this, net, with we're in the middle of COVID-19. So some of you guys have your mortgage have your personal loans, have your, um, um, your, your auto payments, have all these things in a natural disaster deferment. Guys, that remark signals financial distress to lenders. So go through your reports and if you're now financially able to pay your items, get your account out of that status. That will boost your score because lenders don't wanna give you new credit when you actually are um, not paying bills because you're under financial distress. I need you guys to understand the logic behind some of these things, okay? Another thing is these small personal loans. Oh my God, a firm is like one of them where they're, I think you guys are getting like financing or you're getting like um, financing for like appliances or furniture. Guys, stop having this installment credit that is six months, three months, 12 months added to your credit reports. For installment credit, guys, it's a, it goes added to your credit report, but once you pay in full, three months, six months, 12 months, it goes to a zero balance and closes. When you keep on adding these small like accounts, especially some of them are supposed to be credit builder, guys, I only endorse and only use self lender, and I only tell you guys to do the 24 month option. That's for a reason, for what I'm talking about right now. When these accounts are popping on and popping off, popping on and popping off your credit report, you are impacting your average account length, you're, in, um, you're impacting your new credit, and you're impacting your debt ratios. Guys, and why are you financing things for $300 or 
You telling me a business owner, you try to get a hundred thousand dollar line of credit from a lender and you're on your credit report. It says you're financing $300. I need you to think about this. Stop having these small personal loans and these small items for like appliances and furniture and other things add to your credit report it is killing your score for personal credit you need longevity and guys again i'm doing this personal credit hack because some of you guys need the higher scores for your business credit for your real estate financing guys even for your hard money lenders they will give you better terms if you have better credit for your cash out refinances and your home equity lines for your two or three k construction loans some of them want you for the investment properties that have a 680 700 720 and above and to be honest y'all having bad credit is expensive guys a hundred thousand dollar mortgage the difference between a three percent interest rate and a five percent interest rate is over forty one thousand dollars do you have forty one thousand dollars to give away no it's just because a person with three percent worked on their credit guys you are throwing tens of thousands of dollars away because of your credit scores so listen to these hacks okay and then the last one guys with well, two more Real quick is also to have a mix between per um, revolving and installment. Many of you are missing this. And I'm looking at your scores and sometimes you'll have high scores like in general. But if you have all installment and no revolving, you're not going to have a high score. If you have all revolving and no installment, you're not going to have a high score. Credit mix is a smaller category, but it is a category, especially for my people who want the 800s plus and the 750s plus and the 700s plus. You want to have revolving and installment. So look at your credit report. Look at the account type. If you have all revolving and no installment, add self-lender. If you have all installment and no revolving, you can use a credit builder card, but you can also go to my video where I said how to pre-qualify for credit cards. That will help you get revolving cash credit cards as a soft inquiry first. If you um, get approved through the pre-qualification link, go for it. If you get denied right there, pause. Stop. Because if you get denied right there for the pre-qualification -pre link, you may not get applied for the actual application. So don't waste the hard inquiry, guys, okay? So make sure you have a miss. I will put my credit builder account in the description of the video. And the last one is for everything negative, guys. For the negative items on your credit report, make sure they're either deleted or at least a zero balance. So you're doing the dispute process. Guys, always dispute in writing with all three credit bureaus. Do not use these templates. Do not do them online. Do not do them over the phone. I do recommend sending them U.S. priority. That way you can track it. Guys, they have 30 days by law, 30 days by law to respond to your dispute. Um, always include two forms of ID. I recommend a driver's license and a utility bill that has your name and your address so you can prove this is a valid dispute coming from you, the consumer, and not some credit repair place. Got it? Okay, and guys, you can put multiple items on one letter. Stop doing it. You can do your credit sweep. You can do your accounts. You can do your inquiries all on one letter. Guys, write one letter, make three copies, send it to all three bureaus with three copies of your ID, and then wait for the results to come back. Guys, even if you have five negative items and three get removed, that's going to drastically help your score. So let's recap, okay? I talked about utilization and doing the snowball effect, actually going after your smaller credit limits first. I talked about budgeting and understanding the difference between spending and investing. I talked about piggybacking, but not buying trade lines, piggybacking from a family member or friend. I talked about consolidating your student loans and having those late payments or negative items hurt you less. I talked about the natural disaster remark, right? And getting that financial distress mark off of your credit report. I talked about your um, personal loans and how average account length and stop getting them on those reports. They're not helping your score. Then I talked about your credit mix and your disputes. Got it, got it, good. Eight credit score hacks to help you get a better credit score. And then I told you where to go to monitor. You're either going to my FICO or Credit Check Total or the two that I recommend the most because they're using FICO credit scores. All right, y'all. I hope that that was helpful, guys. And for my nugget, um, be the energy. Be like, lead by example. Be the energy that you want. And what I mean by that is so many of us are entrepreneurs and we're investors and we're positive and we're like, I support people, support my business. But guys, every time somebody comes to you or you're going to somebody else, you're asking for a hookup. You're asking for a discount. You're asking for something free. Guys, if I have a friend who has a t-shirt business and they're selling t-shirts, their t-shirts are $30, guess how much I'm paying? $30 probably $45 or $40 because I'm giving them a tip because they're an entrepreneur in my network. Guys, stop wanting people to support your business and you don't want to support anybody else's business. Stop telling people you want them to be positive and, and, and support you and encourage you and help you and you're not supporting or encouraging anybody else. Guys, lead by example. So when you're going to these business owners, you're going to these entrepreneurs, you're going with the spirit of service, you're going with the spirit of gratitude, and you're going with the spirit that you're going to treat them how you want people to treat your business. Don't nickel and dime other people, but you want them to pay top dollar for you. That's a nugget right there, okay? Be the energy. 
Be the example. Lead by example. Be the person you're trying to attract and your life will change. Got it, got it good, y'all. I hope that that was helpful. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, 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 and have a super amazing day on purpose.